Hello everybody, welcome back to RenderBots. My name is James and today we're going to be looking at OmniLights inside of Maxwell Render. If you've seen my previous videos, you'll see that I've already um, done a tutorial using Maxwell Render using some lamps. So if you've not seen that, jump over ahead to um, that particular tutorial. It's in two parts and I promise you're going to love it. Um, so what I'm going to do is take us a little bit further with Cinema 4D uh, and using the plugin um, Maxwell Render to show you, to show you something called um, OmniLights. And I've got a little demo to kind of explain exactly what OmniLights do inside of Maxwell Render. So first of all, let's open up my Cinema 4D scene. It's quite lovely, isn't it? Um, this is a room that I've created. Um, we've obviously had some lamps, which we've done before. And inside those lamps are actual um, little bulbs, right? So if I just click on there and uh, let's have a look, let's have a look. There it is. Boom. <laughs> it's great. So that's where the bulb is. It's just inside of there. And um, normally when we render this out, um, we get one go, right? If you're familiar with um, render technologies, we get one go to render them out. So normally we're going to go up here, we press this button and it renders and it looks something like this. Okay. Now, because we're using, um, Maxwell render. Uh, this is something, as, as I mentioned before, we, we use something called the scene file here and we went over and done some funky stuff inside of here. Now, what I'm going to do is show you, um, again, this is just to show you what, what I'm going to be demonstrating today, is how OmniLights inside Maxwell render will help us do some really cool stuff. So I'm just going to jump over to Maxwell render here. Here we go. We're inside um, Maxwell render now. So what we've got here is a render of that previous room. So let's press F and we can zoom in a little bit to this. And you can use Command minus, Command plus. Let's have a look. There we go. So this is the 3D room I created. Now obviously we've got a few problems inside here which I was I will fix at a later date. But as a demonstration to you, as I'm learning Maxwell render, and I thought I'd get you involved in this as well, is this is the actual um room uh, rendered using the engine. As you see, it's beautiful. I've got the lamps here. I've got some overhead lights up here as well. So that's pretty good, right? Now, normally at this stage, you know, when you render that, that might have taken maybe two or, or even three hours to render that. Inside Maxwell, we're going to see that I have down here um, a little preview window. Okay, so this preview window shows me what's going on up here. Now, if I hit refresh, it doesn't do anything because I've not changed anything, but because I'm using something called OmniLight, um, I now have these objects here. You'll see here it says top light. If I turn my head like this, it says top light uh, and then something called shades and then sky as well. So top light, shade and sky. What's great about this is even though I've rendered it now, I can now move the shades down. Now, if you look over here, as I'm doing that, I'm seeing a little preview of how that's affecting. Now, if I hit refresh, fantastic, right? I'm able to change the render without having to go back and re-render it all. So this two or three hour render is now done just by me moving that shade lights right down. So move right down to there and press refresh. And those overhead lights are now lighting that light up pretty well, right? So let's look at the top lights. So if I move these down, we already see that the preview is showing me that. Amazing, right? So let's turn the top lights off completely. Hit refresh. We've got a slight glow off the lamps. If I move the shade quality up, press refresh. Boom, look at that. Just I'll go a bit drastic on that so you can really see that working. So this is amazing, guys. Um, being able to um, change uh, the, the render and the lighting of the render after you've done it. You've also got inside here uh, ISOs as well. So the overall brightness of the project, we can turn that up and down as well. So this is just brilliant, okay? And even the shutter as well, look. And so I'm going back to refresh every time I do it. So with that done, I'm not gonna show you how to do it, right? Using all these sliders and making all this work. So what we're gonna do, we go back to cinema, which is over here, like so. Let's open that up. And uh, we're gonna start a new project. And again, really, really basic here. We're going to file and open up a new one. So first thing we do is we're going to create um, three bulbs. Okay, so we've got a sphere. And you'll see it's a 100 um, 
centimeters there. So we're going to change it to 20 centimeters. Okay, and we're going to press, um, so we'll name that ball one like that. Command C, Command V, and we'll have uh, ball two. Perfect. Command C, Command V. Okay, and we'll name this uh, ball. So we'll look ball three. There we go. So we've got three very, very simple balls here at the moment. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it into a little room. Okay, so I'm going to open up a cube like that. Let me see the cube's quite big. So we'll stretch it out like that. We'll move it up. Let me pull the sides out like that. Now, if I click on any one of these balls and press the S key, it will focus the camera beautifully um, inside of there. Let's just get that. Um, it'll focus the camera right inside of there. Now, if I just pull back, because what I want to do is see all these three balls, right? Very simple. Uh, let's maybe uh, pull them back a little bit there. There we go. All right, so there's my first one, second one, and third one there. Okay, so very simple. Three balls in a row inside of this box. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to create um, these Omni lights. Now, to do this, I go to the word um, create, um, shader, and I'm going to pick the word Maxwell shader. Okay, uh, with that done, I'm going to click on the Maxwell shader button there, go up to a create standard, and just choose the word emitter here. Okay, so with that done, this is 40 watts, so I'm going to press OK. That's the, the kind of light I want. Okay, so it gives me that light. Now, what I'm going to do is, it's, this is really important, is name this um, emitter. So I do that by double clicking here, type in ball one, and I'm going to drag that to ball one. Okay, so ball one now has, a, has an emitter called ball one. Okay, so we're going to go again, create shader, Maxwell shader, double click that, create standard emitter and this time I'm going to change the wattage to 100 okay so what's to 100 press OK right again rename this to ball 2 drag that to ball 2 so there he is there's ball 2 again just repeat the process again so um, shader Maxwell render double click that create standard emitter and I make that 200 watts so we've gone from 40 to 100 to 200 okay close that down um, rename this uh, ball 3 magic and now we're going to drag ball 3 to there so these are three simple spheres now with each having its own kind of um, light source on there Again, remember, if I use the normal um, Cinema 4D uh, render here, it's going to do nothing for us at all. We're going to use the Maxwell render. So to do that, we go over to uh, the plugins. We choose Maxwell render here. Now remember, it's this Freema Student license, so go ahead and uh, go and grab it. Uh, we'll see the word scene. So now we have a Maxwell scene in here. So what's this going to look like? Well, if I hit the word fire, we'll see it starts to show us three white balls. Now remember these balls can be um, inside of your lamp or yeah, a light source. Yeah, anything you create as a model and add this as a light source, it's going to be fine to do. So there they are. Now, what I've got to do is under the word engine here, so we've got output here, engine. Um, let's just make this four, because that's some of the threads I have on my computer. So under engine, CP threads four. We'll see the word multi-light. Okay, so we're going to click on that and press the word intensity. As I say, it's disabled before, so we go to the word intensity. Nothing changes, but now when I press this um, render here, it says render scene using render view. Click on that button there. It now opens up the external render for, um, for Maxwell. So we can see, start to see now that we've got the three varying colors of bulbs, okay, with this um, um, material on. 
Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let that render for a little bit. Okay, I've left that rendering just for a minute. That's all we needed it to do. As we start to see, it's starting to light up the floor there beautifully for me. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to press Stop Render, which you know in Cinema 4D, if we press Stop Render, that's the end of the game. From here, what we're going to do is we're going to come down to look at my multi-light new menu. Again, we didn't see this before, but if I drag this, we can move this up and down, and we'll see all the things that we've got available to us. And as you see, look, ball one, ball two, ball three. So this means now, if I grab hold of um, ball three and raise up, and we'll see straight away this little light here light up. See how much it's bright it's going? Dull it off, let's put it up. So I've dragged it there, and again, it's not affected the main window yet until I press the word refresh. Boom, there it is. Perfect, right? So let's go to ball two. And then hit refresh. Wow, look at that. And then ball one, drag it up and press refresh. So if I go full screen on that, perfect. I've not had to re-render this back if this is a big scene. It's already rendered to the quality I want and now we're able to change uh, those light sources back. Just fantastic. I'm just blown away by how versatile this can be. We've got the ISO there, and so again, I can make them even brighter. Refresh, look at that, really, really uh, rather good. As you see, we've got some noise on here because we've not let it fully render out. But um, multi-light is just the best thing I've ever seen when it comes to rendering. It really means that you don't have to guess what that end render is. Um, if you've been doing this a long time, you've been rendering uh, programs out, um, you wake up in the morning and go, oh no, it's not bright enough, and you have to go into Photoshop and fiddle it. With OmniLight switched on, we can go in and change each individual light source. It really is fantastic. I go play with it all day, it's brilliant. So, not bad again. We normally just go here, File, and then save that image. To so take what we've done there and save it as a JPEG or whatever. You know, click down here, you take JPEG, save on a desktop as test, whatever, and that's going to give us. Um, you know my my end file and again it's just so versatile so one other thing i want to show you just very quickly is i'm going to uh, just close that and i go back to my cinema 4d file and i've got the three lights here again and now this time under the word multi-light so use intensity which is fine now we've got the one called color and um, this does get very interesting if i hit the word color and everything's still the same so all i've done is i've changed the word color and I'm going to press this uh, render engine. I'm going to overwrite what we've done. That's absolutely fine. So again, what's going to happen is it's going to go over and render those three balls uh, with those um, materials on. There she goes. So we're going to let that render for a minute. Okay, so I've let it render for about a minute there. I'm going to press the stop key again. Okay, so again, very simple. You put the render in here, you let it render out. Um, when you've got the render um, the quality you like, remember you can carry on rendering if you want, but at this stage we just press the stop key here. We'll see here the refresh button. So again, we, we've got the same things. We can turn the brightness up, press refresh. Perfect, there it is. Makes one really bright here. Press refresh, just have a good look at that. Press F uh, for full screen mode. So we've got those balls, perfect. But now we see we've got colored um, whites here. So um, I just pressed Command minus, by the way, just to jump out there. You see we've got the white here now. So if I look at ball three, which is the one furthest away, I can now press this little white block down here. And I now get this brilliant um, color wheel, which I wouldn't have before. So I take it to the colors roughly where I want to be, deep red. And I'm going to move my cursor inside here. So as you can see, let's go take it to there. Let go, and wow, perfect. Look at that. Press refresh. There's my red light. Let's go to ball two, hit the white one there. Let's come over here and move our thing to about there. Press the X. Okay, so we see it's changed here. Press refresh, starting to affect the ground, but if I ramp that up, so again, changing the intensity. So we've got intensity and that, there we go. And finally hit the white one. Let's jump over to here, see something quite bright yellow there. And as we see, there's press refresh. 
okay, but if I, um, yeah, that's as far as I can go, because again, this is only 40 watts, so it's only letting me go a little brighter. So I can just change the ISO here, and press refresh. There we go, press F for full screen. So, not bad at all, right? We're able to go in and change the color of those lights that we didn't determine in the in the render inside of the cinema we just called it an emitter and now from here we can go in and change this and again these isos are just brilliant to get a real nice look and and just alter that you know everybody sees pictures differently um you probably get criticized if it looks too too bright or too dark at least now we can go in and change it this um in itself for me um just blows my mind for, for the years I've been using cinema um, this just opens up a whole new board part for us so that is OmniLights um, as always um, that is it for now um, as I promised you I'll do a few more of these uh, with Maxwell if I learn more as I'm going as I said I'm just I'm not an expert in Maxwell I'm just learning as you guys are and I'm sharing that information with you so I hope you appreciate that um, I am not an expert on this, so I'm just going through the motions. Uh, I've learned a lot of a fellow colleague, um, uh, Rob Redman, I've mentioned him before. He's taking me through a lot of this, and I'm just sharing that through here. So um, if you know anything else, feel free to share it below, and obviously um, subscribe and comment. Um, so you can find me at, at underscore renderbots, and obviously James at renderbots as always. Um, until next time, I hope you enjoyed that. It's really cool. Head over to Maxwell's um, website to learn more about what that product does and i'll see you next time until then happy rendering take care bye bye